If you're ready to experience more peace and joy in your life, if you want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, and if you're ready to discover and expand on your energetic gifts and personal power, you're in the right place. So here's your host, Kelly Sparta. Welcome back to Spirit Guides. I'm your host, Kelly Sparta transformational shaman and spiritual coach. And today is Ascend Friday, where we prove that the magic works. And so today I am doing a reading for Shani Coven Easter. Shani is actually one of my coaches for the Welcome to the Woo program. And she also was one of the winners of the the uh, reviews for the podcast. Um, uh, and she got this, she won the reading. So uh, welcome to the show, Shani. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I'm very excited. Awesome. Well, since you are also getting certified in doing this kind of reading, we didn't talk about this beforehand. Do you want regular spiritual energy, spiritual, spiritual evolution energy review? Yeah, I can talk today. It's early. I'm a, uh, I need a second cup of coffee. It's okay. Yeah. Yes. That sounds so, great. Okay. So you want a regular review then? Okay, Please. great. Yeah. Okay. So the, so since you're getting certified in this, I don't have to go over the shebang with it, you, because you know the shebang, because you're doing Correct. it yourself. Correct. Um, and so let's just get started. Do I have permission to enter your energy field for the purposes of this reading? Yes, you do. Okay. Give me one second. I'll be right there. All right. Make a little Kelly sized opening or, you know, yes, acceptance for me to come into your shields, if you would. Sure. Okay, the area around you looks clear. That's good. Coming into your aura. Okay. Okay, so the impression that I'm getting as I'm stepping into your aura is it's it's like there is deep mud. It's not enough to cover the boots, but it's enough to make your the suction as you try to move your feet, right? And so it's this sense of feeling bogged down, right? Um, yes. Okay, yeah. So that's that's what I'm getting here. It feels it feels related to your business, and and I'm gonna do a combination personal and business for you if that's okay. Yeah, okay. Yes, thank you. Be great. Good. So this feels like is related to your business. It feels like there's like this stuckness going on. It's like you're not fully stuck, but you're like trying to move and it's like harder than it should be, right? It's just like, yes. right, all of that. So let me see if there's any message they have for you here or if this is just saying where you are. Hold on. Yeah, they're just saying this is just where you are. So we'll we'll see more of this as we go further in so okay, we'll we'll put a pin in this for now all right let's come into the crown chakra and see what's going on there good energy flow in minimal energy flow out okay so why is that let me check the root not a lot of energy flow from the root Okay, so that is that is the steel plate at the bottom of your feet. Have we done a reading before? No, it's no. the first time. Okay, all right. So steel plate at the bottom of your feet is the giving somebody else permission to yank yank the, the your feet out from under you if they disapprove of your life. So <laughs> I think you know who that is. Yes. Yes. And so, you know, the, the key for this one is to revoke permission. Okay. And, and acknowledge that you cannot live your life by your values and judge yourself by someone else's and never be happy. Okay. And giving okay. the other person permission to yank your feet out is judging yourself by their values. That all makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So, so this is a, oh, this is my life. I'm going to judge it by my values. Go yes. figure. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That, that sort of thing. Okay. So. Let's see what happens if that, if you, 
embrace that mindset. Yes, that starts to dissolve. But still not getting a lot of energy up through. What's going on there? Hold on. Let me look. Are you thinking about moving? Like moving my home? Mm -hmm. um, always, kind of. Yes, we would like a, a new, a better house. <laughs> but not moving like my town or anything like that. No, but that's so what I'm what I'm getting is that there's a resistance to rooting in. Oh, OK. And that's why you're not getting the ground, the the earth energy is that you're not rooting okay. in. There's like, nope, I don't want to root here. Right. Okay. So, you know, that's if you're preparing to move physically, oftentimes we will unroot from the ground and that, okay. because it's appropriate. Right. Yeah. So I would say until you find the new home. Go ahead and root in, right? You know, you yeah. can unroot very quickly. It's not a big deal, but go ahead yeah. and root in because, okay. you know, there's that, okay? Because you're not getting any ground. That's why you're not putting energy back out again from the crown is because okay. you're using it all because you're not getting any from the root. Okay. No, that's okay. good to know because, I mean, we feel. I feel like we're just always kind of do, going back and forth between do we go, do we stay, do we go, right. do we stay? Um, yeah, so that's very helpful. Thank you. Yeah. So just root in until you find something that you want. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so the, the other piece of that, because there feels like there's, there's something in there. Okay. There's something in there. Hold on. There's a dynamic in your relationship that that is serving. Just okay. saying. Yeah. It, it keeps you busy and keeps you engaged. It keeps you interested. It keeps things. It, it's almost like it's keeping things fresh for you, right? Okay. <laughs> and so, you know, the the difference here between the energetic that I'm seeing and the energetic that would be helpful for you in this, you know, do we, don't we thing mm -hmm. is to say, I'm not going to, we're not moving until we find the right place, right? Okay. Yes. And then focus it on the right place. And okay. then you can be where you are, not yeah. question, do we, don't we? Okay. I like that right? a lot. Yeah. Yep. So it's it's a minor tweak, but it's an important tweak. Okay. I can see okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Cool. Thank you. And that's, that's helping. So, okay. There. Yeah, this, I, this feels like as much as it's, you know, doing what we talked about, it also feels like it's something that you're doing more broadly in your life. This do I, don't I, do I, don't I thing. Okay. Yep. The, the, yep. the wibble wobble, right? Yep. And that wibble wobble is, it's a resistance. Okay. Yep. So it's, it's an excuse to not make a, de a decision. Yep. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, so, you know, the, the thing here is the longer you wibble wobble on something, the more likely you will never make a decision. And so if you know that you've been wibble wobbling on something for a long time, you should just stop. Okay. Just keep doing what you're doing because you don't really want to do the other thing. Because if you did, you would have done it by now. Okay. That's okay. very helpful. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, if you were truly motivated, you would have done it by now. Right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so basically what you're doing with that, when when you've gotten to that point where you've had it sitting there for long enough um, and basically long enough is, a, oh, you know, I can't make up my mind. When you get to that point, you're like, no, you just need to to go back to what you've been doing because, you know, this it's a fantasy designed to not to to keep you from looking at the things that you're unhappy with where you are okay yep. so better to just be with what's making you not what you're tolerating right yeah and fix what you're tolerating yeah rather than try to run away from it to something else right got it yep. yeah that makes a lot of sense so that's the that's the thing is that it's it, this is a big resistance pattern and it's it's a you know i don't it feels like it comes out of exhaustion, this pattern. 
It's like, yes. oh, I'm going to have the fantasy of doing this so that I don't have to actually do anything because I'm too fucking tired, right? Yes. And that's what it feels like. So, you know, the but the thing you have to recognize is that everything you're tolerating is exhausting you. Yes. And so if you spent the time that you spent fantasizing and maybe doing a little th research here and there and whatever, whatever, for whatever you're trying to do, if you just spent it making the shift, then you would... So you would you would clear up some of the exhaustion patterns, right? Yeah. So, you know, this is a discipline piece to say every okay. time I think about moving something, it's like, nope, not doing that. What am I what am I upset about that I'm not fixing? Let's fix that. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Definitely. So that's the thought pattern. Okay. Okay. Thank All right. you. Yeah. Let me see here. Let's come back to the seventh chakra. Good connection with your guides. You are a natural channel, but you're terrified of that. So, yeah, some education on how not to channel <laughs> would be helpful. Um, the, let's see what else here. Masculine looks good. Mind on overdrive is periodic. So it's like you you have moments where you're like, nah, 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 and then you, there's other times when you're actually still. So that's actually good progress. That's that's progress out of mind on overdrive. I can see how that's you're, you're going into and out of. Right. Yes. And it feels mostly like you go into mind on overdrive when you're starting to burn out. Yeah. So that would be an indicator for you Yeah. when you're burning out, because, you know, it's when you're first learning how to recognize burnout, it's hard to recognize it. But there are indicators that you can see that are like, oh, okay, it's like that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this mind on overdrive would be a indicator for you for burnout. Okay. Okay. That's All right. good. Uh, anything else in this shot? Nope. That's that's everything they've got here. No, no major blockages. So we're good to go. Coming into the third eye. Just checking out the transmitter. Ooh, nice strong energy out. Sweeping back. Okay, very slow, but it comes slowly, slowly. Yeah, okay. Coming back, good. Okay, receiver. Hmm. Okay, so your transmitter is very slow on bringing back the information. And that's okay. because you have a belief structure that says it's hard. Mm. Okay. Okay. It's only slowed down because you believe it's hard. Okay. <laughs> okay. It would be instantaneous if, if that belief structure wasn't there. So I want you to suspend your disbelief. In it being okay. difficult, right? You're, right. You're, okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just sort of be curious and see how fast it can happen. Okay. Like, ooh, I wonder how fast this could be, right? Yeah. Yeah. Treat it as a game. Have fun. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, sounds good. And, and then the receiver, though. So the receiver is your intuition. It's the stuff that you just sort of pick up from the, the ethers around you. Um which I know you know, but I'm telling the people who ha are listening. Um, and your receiver is wide open, but there's also a don't notice me on it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I'm wide open to receive, but don't notice me to tell me anything. <laughs> right? It's, it's, it's like I did my part to open, but I'm still afraid of what I'm going to see. So maybe not tell me anything. Right? <laughs> then it won't be my fault, right? Yes. That, that energy to it, right? Okay. Yeah. So this is just a reminder that you are not obligated to report anything you see. Got it. Okay. If spirit can't get the message through you, they will get it through someone else. Okay. Okay. So start with that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And if there's something specific that you're afraid to see, you can put a specific filter up saying, don't show me any of these things. Okay. Right. But it's so much better than the don't notice me. <laughs> because <laughs> the don't notice me is, is, 
is, is pretty universal. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more than you probably don't want to see, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, if there's something sounds, specific, yeah. you know, just put filters up so that they don't show you that. Okay. okay. Great. Okay. All right. And then let's see here. Hmm. Got some fears showing up here, which is interesting because normally fears around safety and security are down in the root chakra. But when I touch into your trust in the universe, I've got some fear, some serious fear showing up, right? Yeah. Um, and, you know, it feels like the fear from the root chakra of the safety and security thing. And, you know, again, this is around your business, it feels like. So the, you know, I know you've got some trans transitions happening. And so that's not surprising that it would show up here. But so here's the thing, just reminding you, again, I know you know this, but reminding you that your fear, your fears around trusting the universe are your fears around trusting yourself. Yes. Okay. So, you know, reminder is to remind yourself that you've never gone hungry. You've never been homeless. If you've never been out on the street, you know, there's never been this, this, you know, actual you know safety and security thing going on for you and the universe has always looked out for you which is also yeah. you have always looked out for you right yeah and so you know just because you don't you can't see the how right now doesn't mean that there isn't one and the universe will show up and make that right so yeah. you know this is the this is the key so okay. yeah and then, yeah. And so this is, here's, here's the piece here, right? Because there's also fear of your own power in here. Okay. And so for you, this feels less like a past life situation and more like a, how do I say this? Part of it is can I give myself that much power and do I want that much responsibility? Right. Um, part of it is just the power itself. There is, there is something about power, the power dynamic that you have a real resistance to. And I can't quite touch on, it feels like there's both an experience of being victimized by someone in their power and a demonization of women in power that is combination. Okay. So that those both, yeah. both make sense to you. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So those situations are holding you back from stepping into your own power in this scenario. Um, so the key is to look at the fears associated with those, right? Okay. So what you're looking for is you're looking at, you know, when you're victimized by somebody standing in their power, then you have to look at uh, the fear of victim victimizing others, right? Because that's why you're keeping yourself out of it is because you don't want to be that person, it's like, okay, well, are you that person? Because probably not, right? right? This is this is where Byron Katie's The Work comes in. And okay. it's a really good one to look to work with, okay? Okay. You know, ask yourself those four questions about that fear because okay. I'm pretty sure that that's going to just break that up, okay? Okay, awesome. And then the, the, the piece around the dynamic of, of demonization of women in power, um, you know, this feels like, I mean, you could go looking for, me, you know, mentor, not, not really mentor, but, you know, role models, right? You know, you could take a look at how different women in power, you know, like Taylor Swift and Oprah and, you know, whatever, yeah. right? And how they manage their power, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, Kamala Harris is, it's got a fair amount of power right now. So, yeah. you know all of these things. So you know, you can look at women in power and see how they're managing it, right? And, and okay. start to debunk that for yourself. Okay. But I think as much as that's 
uh, helpful. I think for you, this is going to be about opting out of the narrative. Okay. Okay. Um, wherever that narrative came from for you, I feel like part of this is about, it feels like it's a parental thing. And it feels like this is part of opting out of, you know, living or judging yourself by their values. Right. And so saying, you know, no, my values say I'm a woman and I can earn and I can be in control and I can be powerful. And that does not make me a bitch on wheels. Right. Or whatever the the dynamic language is for you. Right. Okay. Um, yep. And to just redefine that for yourself. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because, you know, you may want to look into whether or not this is how you belong to your family too, is by buying into that dynamic. Okay. Yeah. And and whether or not it, it implies it, whether or not it's you too, because if your family relies on you being sort of supplicant and easy to work with and sort of the willow tree that bends all the time and doesn't do doesn't actually demand anything and is never rigid and whatever, if that's part of your family dynamic and you see power uh, holding power as the opposite of that, then you'll you may have to look into that too. Okay. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. So let's see. Anything else in here? Nope. All right. Coming down into the fifth chakra. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mouth is open. No energy is coming out. Okay. Yep. So it's like you want to express yourself, <laughs> but you don't want to express yourself, right? Yes, that is. Well, I won't. I wibble wobble, right? <laughs> yes. Wibble wobble. Yeah. This is a, you know, and, and in this case, the wibble wobble for your business, you're going to have to commit to the wibble, not the wobble, right? You're going to have to commit to doing it. Yes. Okay. So I would not apply the, this is, you know, you haven't been doing it, therefore you shouldn't do it because you're not going to do it anyway, right? This is this right. is a push through moment. Okay. Because if you don't, then, you know, it's hard for people to find you if you're hiding your your light yes. under a bucket, right? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> like, Come and work with me under a bucket. <laughs> right? Yeah. And yeah. I feel up for that probably yeah. for the first time ever. So good. Yeah. Good. So, yeah. So, so it, it it's progress because the mouth's open. <laughs> we just got to actually get stuff to come out of it now. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see what else is in here. A little bit of people pleasing communication. Feels like it's family related, you know, including nuclear family related. Feels like that's in there. And as you know, that's a, that's a child dynamic of trying to, to manipulate everybody to be happy. Right. Yeah. So it's like, I don't, I don't want to have conflict. I, I, yeah. I don't want to have problems. I want to make sure everybody's <laughs> happy. And so I'm just going to tell people what they want to hear. And, and, you know, and then you don't, you know, this is, this is one of those things about any relationship in your life, right. It's like, if you stop relating, you stop having a relationship, right. Yeah. So this is a speak your truth so that you can actually share yourself with the people that you love. Right. Yeah. So let's see here. A little bit of dependence and asking for permission, but this feels like a it's just a little into this. I mean, like this feels like because we're we're talking about your business, right? And so in your business, you know, it affects the family dynamic. And so it feels like there's for you about, you know, needing to get the okay from your husband that this is going to be okay for for the family right which is a completely normal conversation to have with a partner but the dynamic is a little into child energy okay. so this would be a reminder for you to step into your partner self right yep. and be able to say what you need to say okay okay yeah so yeah Okay. To be able to advocate for yourself rather than just ask for permission. So yep. those are different things, right? Got it. Okay. Yep. Okay. 
Yeah, I feel like you don't do that with your parents. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like it's just in this relationship and just in this tiny little slice of it, right? It's just like, okay, it's just a little bit. So do you have a brother? Nope, sisters. Do you have someone in your life that you treat like a brother? No. So weird. I'm getting this sort of brother dynamic. Hmm. Might be Josh. <laughs> okay. Might be Josh. Yeah. <laughs> um, because I'm, I, I was, they were saying there's one other place, but there's one other place, there's one other place. And I'm like, okay, where's the other place? I think it's, I think it's in with Josh in the coaching sessions, right? Okay. So, you know, you're doing practice coaching sessions with him, right? So yes. yep. I feel like there's, you need to speak your truth more there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. It's again, it's very small, but it's there. Okay. Okay. What else? Anything else in this chakra? Yeah. Hiding true self, unwilling to be vulnerable. Not really a surprise. We <laughs> talked about the bucket. Yeah. That's where yes. the bucket is. Right. Yes. Yeah. So, and that's another piece of the, the fear piece, right? Is the fear of, of being seen. Right. Yes. Yes. And so that's another thing you've got to face is like, what is what is it I'm afraid is going to happen if I'm seen? What is it I'm afraid is going to happen if people, you know, engage with me? That sort of thing. Right. Okay. okay. Yep. All right. And then let's see here. Nope. That's everything in the chakra. Okay. Coming into the fourth chakra. Heart chakra. Good energy flow. Or good energy in the heart. Okay. Not a lot of energy flow to and from the heart, though. So what I'm seeing is it's like, you know, the, the, the love languages, right? Your love language is act of service, right? acts of service and so yeah. but what that is hap how how that's happening in your heart chakra though is that the you're doing acts of service to say this is how i love you but there's no actual love flowing in and out you're okay. feeling it inside of you but you're okay. not actually letting it out and in okay so the encouragement would be to do the exercise around going out into the world and receiving love from strangers where you don't feel like there's an obligation to go along with it. Right. Yeah. So, you know, they get out of, get out of your way on the sidewalk. They open a door for you, you know, smile, anything, let you out in traffic. It's a little, little gift of love. Right. And receiving okay. that. Right. Yeah. So, because what it feels like is it feels like there's a pattern of transactional love in your family dynamic okay. and that that pattern is causing you to be self-contained. I don't see armor, but I okay. do see self-containment. It's yes. like, nope, I'm holding my love in my heart and I will feel it and I will hold, have it and I won't give it away because I don't know if it's going to come back. Okay. Right? It's that yeah. that sort of thing. And therefore, because I'm not giving any away, I'm not going to receive any and that's just how that is. Right. I will yeah, I will yeah. do my acts of service. That will be my love language. And that's that's what it is. Right. So that's okay. that's sort of the how it's feeling. OK. OK. Yeah, it makes sense. OK. Let's see what else. OK, I don't get any grief. No, nope. no betrayal. We're good to go. Okay, right. coming down into the third chakra. This has been efficient. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start with the identity. Okay. Seeing the blow up man, right? The, the, the guy that's at the car dealerships, it's like, I'm up, I'm down, I'm up, I'm down. Look <laughs> over here, you know, pay no attention to the girl behind the curtain. You know, it's, it's that. <laughs> 
It's it's the hey, look at me, look at me, look at me, right? So you know this is this is an indication of a mask, right? It's the mask you wear that says, "Hey, I've got this all together. I'm perfect. It's all good, right?" Yeah. Which you know, it we all we all do that. So the the key here is to be able to accept your own humanity, right? So to be human and to be fallible, right? And have it not be a heart attack if you're wrong, <laughs> right? It's like, yeah. I was wrong. Oh my God, right? So yeah, it, it, it's it got that sense to it. And what else? Something else. Hold on. Yeah, this again is part of not wanting to be seen. It's like, oh, I'm just going to put this mask up and I'm going to make you think that I am the way that I want you to think I am. Right. Yeah. And so, you know, they, they're part and parcel. They go together. So you'll have to address the fear of being seen in order for this to shift significantly. Okay. okay. Sure. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to do the, it's okay to be human and the other piece for this to move. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's look at the inner child. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> so she's sitting there looking up at me and she's holding a daisy. And, and I'm, I've never seen a child just standing there very still, just holding this flower and looking at me, right? She's just, she's almost like, what did they call those little figurines that they used to have with the precious moments, right? She's almost like a precious moment figurine. She's so sweet. But she's also very still and very intent on me. Okay. So it's almost like she's looking for me to give her, you know, kudos. You know, it's like, she's like how can I make you happy? Right. It's that sort of feel. Yeah. And she's very put together and she's very clean and she's, you know, just precious as all get out. Big eyes looking up at me. Flower. Right. Um, but she's not offering me the flower. She's holding the flower. So okay. the flower is part of her being okay. state to try and please. Mm, so. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. So I would take her off the leash, right? Okay. Give her permission. So I, I had a friend of mine who is the queen of living in clothes that are really comfy and can get dirty because she's just like, she's just in the moment and she's not good at paying attention to staying clean and perfect, right? <laughs> She's happiest when she's digging in the dirt and stuff. So when she got married and I was her best mate, best, uh, best woman, right? um, uh, she specifically bought a cheap sheath dress for her wedding that she wouldn't care if she got, you know, messed up. Right. And yet even still, you know, the wedding happened, the pictures were taken, the reception was happening, but I was watching the stress around her face grow and grow and there this was in the backyard of a friend's house and they had a pool and I walked I, I said you know come with me for a minute and I'm like I, I'm like I love you so much and she's like I love you too and I like I hugged her and I fell into the pool with her <laughs> <laughs> and she came up spluttering and splashing and was like what did you do that for I said because it's time to not be perfect anymore this is your party and you're going to enjoy it and she was like Thank you. Right. I was yeah. like, because she was she was done being perfect and she was feeling like she had to still be perfect. And I'm like, nope, I fixed that. Turns out everybody ended up in the pool anyway. But uh, <laughs> but this is what I'm saying. Put your arms around her and fall into the pool with her. You know, that's what okay. I'm trying to say. Okay. Yeah. It's because she's tried so hard for so long and she just needs to get get hugged and fall into the pool. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Long story to make a point, but you get it now. <laughs> I get it. Okay. I get it. Okay. So, all right. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, they're not good enough. Big surprise. Um, okay. So that's interesting. Normally you would see the not lovable up in the heart chakra, but it's showing up down here. 
And that, as we know, is a function of having chosen to not receive. When we choose not to receive, then we feel unlovable because we're not receiving and our inner self doesn't recognize that it was a choice, not a, you know, reason, right? Yeah. And so that story will be cleared up when you open your heart, right? Okay. Definitely got martyr stuff going on in here, but I don't think that's a surprise for you. Yeah. So, yeah, this is this is about putting yourself up at the top of your own priority list. Yeah. So I know you know that. So, <laughs> um, just a skosh of too big, too much in here. It feels like it's related to that power piece that we were talking about before. Okay. It's like, you know, you can't be your own self. You can't be powerful. You've got to be quiet and demure, right? Yeah. Sorry, I'm, the demure is such a big thing on TikTok right now. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, but it's relevant here. So, yeah, that's everything in this chakra. Okay. I feel like I need to ask you if there are any questions right now. No, I think I'm good. You know, it's interesting as you're going through, there's like kind of stuff coming into me as well. So I feel like I'm getting the messages for sure. Awesome. Okay, great. All right. So coming down into the second chakra. Let's see here. Okay, the energy here is okay. It's not great. It's not empty. It's just okay. Right. See about your creativity here. Mm, creativity is sort of eh, you know, which you know, given the time constraints on your life, I'm not surprised, right? So, but again, part of falling into the pool with the inner child is giving her something to play with, right? And so, okay. some creativity would be a good thing. Yeah. Okay, because creativity yeah. and the inner child really go hand in hand. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then let's see. Okay, no, this this is surprisingly clear. So okay. looks pretty Thanks. good. Yeah, okay, so coming down, I was like, how about this? Nope, 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 nope. I'm like, okay, anything else I need to know? <laughs> let's see. Nope, okay, mm -hmm. root chakra. Let's see here. All right. So we already know about the fears around safety and security. They got pulled up. Um, so, and we've already looked at the energy flow and the grounding. So let's see. We've talked a fair amount about the family dynamics. So that feels like that's done too. And uh, let's see. Let's see tribe. Let's see what's going on there. Interesting. I feel like the, as I look at your tribe, your friends, right? I, what I'm seeing is that you are more teacher than friend. Yeah. Okay. Which means that you are on duty with all of your friends. Yes. That is a dynamic I would highly recommend you change. Okay. Okay. And it may require changing friends. Okay. Okay. Because generally when we are teachers to our friends is because our friends are not at our level. Okay. We have chosen people that we can be of value to through teaching yeah. and that they are not people who we can trust to give us what we need or, you know, to take care of us when we are in need and things like that. Right. They're there. Yeah. It's that dynamic of you're in a hierarchical dynamic, yeah. which is is a way to show yourself that you have value right it's like they they need something from you and you get to feel good about giving it to them and then then you get to feel valuable and you know whatever yeah. so but i don't feel like you have places to go right now where you can be held and yes. friendships are supposed to be places where we go to feel held yeah. and we trade back and forth right yes. and so i would highly recommend finding some places to be held Right. People okay. who who can meet you and are happy to help you as much as you help them. Right. Yeah. Balance. Yeah. Okay. Sounds All right. Good.
Okay. So let's look at the manifestation bubble here. Well, that's interesting. Why is that? Oh, yes. Okay. All right. So the manifestation bubble hits the second chakra, goes kabloop, like this. And it, it's okay. like there's it's not coming through the chakra. It's going around the chakra. Okay. And that is because there is a deservingness piece that's sitting in that mm -hmm. chakra. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to remind you that deserving is an illusion. Right. If you are everything and everything is you, you already are everything you need <laughs> and you want. Yeah. It's already a part of you. There's no the, the idea of deserving in that context makes zero sense. Yeah. It is completely a manipulation designed mm -hmm. to control you. Yep. OK, so yeah. you have two pathways around this. You can either do the pathway I just told you which is, you know, to to eliminate it as a as a real thing. Um, yeah. Or you can debunk the pathway that you have already got, which is, you know, oh, I don't deserve it. And you can be like, here is all the things that I have done to be of service to others. And here is all the ways in which I have been of service to the world. And here is all the ways in which I do fucking deserve this. <laughs> right? Yeah. Which I know you have enough of. Right? Yeah. Yes, it's a shout absolutely. it down experience. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's a win the debate experience. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And and usually loudly. Win the debate loudly with a lot of <laughs> anger. Right. It's a, yes. Yeah. It's a time for you to go. Right. It's yeah. that energy. Um, okay. So let's see where it goes after that. We clear that and we come up through third chakra is bogging it down with not good enough. That's another debunk it, right? Because it's about, this is about your business in this case. And so it is about debunking the not good enough. It's about show, proving that you are good enough, right? Because, you know, read your testimonials. <laughs> You know, funny, I might have a, a certain box filled with all of that stuff that I just need <laughs> no, to go you. back and, and read again. Yeah, novel concept. <laughs> I don't know where that would have come from. No, not at all. Yeah. Couldn't have been an assignment. No. Um, yeah. So, yeah, you need to you need to read your box. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then coming up, coming up, coming up, uh, the receiving piece. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's a. So it feels like love and money are conflated for you. Okay. Like they're, they're smushed together. Right. And therefore you're going to have to open up the heart to receive in order to be able to receive the money unless you deconflate them. Right. Unless you pull them okay. apart. Um. Honestly, it's easier to just open your heart than it is to deconflate them. Yeah. But yeah. So that's a food for thought. There was also, what was the other thing in here? There was something else. Hold on. I came in and then I forgot when I started talking to you. Oh, hard work. Yeah, that was the other one. Um, so there is a piece in here where the hard work, you have a belief structure that you have to work hard in order to make money. Yes. Yeah. I really want you to start calling that, calling bullshit on that. Yeah. Okay. You're going to work hard no matter what, because that's who you are. <laughs> um, but I want you to start, I, I want you to start using this mantra. I live a charmed life and everything is easy for me. Okay. Okay. That's your new mantra. I live a charmed okay. life and everything is easy for me. Say it. I live a charmed life and everything is easy for me. Okay. So your bullshit meter is coming up hard on that. <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. I can feel it. It's like, ah, right. <laughs> so what I want you to do is I want you to step into a you that can hold that belief. Okay. OK, so I want you yeah. to to be the future you who knows that that's true. OK, 
Okay. So now say it. I live a charmed life and everything comes easy to me. Okay. That's different than everything is easy for me. Everything is easy for me. I live a charmed life and everything is easy. Okay. How does that feel? Better. Feels like I'm getting there. Yeah. Be honest. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It, it's it's definitely better than the first one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me see where else this goes. Okay. That's that clears the manifestation path. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I think we know the themes. We've been sort of coming back <laughs> to them over and over again. So I don't think we need to identify those. But I think you have a clear path for this. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yep. So do you have any questions? I think my only question is that, you know, as we were going through and the stuff was coming up, nothing, like I felt everything as being like, oh, yes, yes. But the other feeling that was coming up right afterwards was frustration. Like, it's almost like I'm so frustrated that I'm still dealing with all of this shit. Okay. <laughs> That's a good piece of feedback. So I'm going to remind you that life is a spiral. Yeah. And all of the primary things that we deal with are spokes on the spiral, right? Yeah. And so every time you're going to come back around to the same things over and over again, and you're just going to hit them at a deeper level each time. So okay. rather than going into the, ah, why am I not done with this? You yeah. know, the, 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 the invitation is to come back and say, oh, hello, old friend. What do you have to teach me today? Right. Okay. It's, it's that yeah. because, you know, it's not that you, the, the, the frustration is I, I did this, I should be done. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a shooting on yourself to begin yeah. with. And, yeah. and then it's also a misunderstanding of how it works. It's a yeah. not acknowledging that you did do it. That's yeah. why you're coming back to it at a deeper level, right? Okay. Like, yeah. oh, I did this. And oh, here it is. Deeper level, new level yeah. of understanding, new way of dealing with it, new understanding of things. You know, this is, this is just part of the process. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That I feel like just calms that tension. Instantly. Yeah, especially yeah. the the old friend piece. Just seeing yeah. it as an old friend coming back for a little more opportunity for growth. I guess right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A fog, another fucking opportunity for growth. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, it was good. You know, and it's just it, it is a lot. You know, to yeah. take in at, at once. So I feel like I'm going to look forward to listening to it again. And then maybe taking it piece by piece and giving it a little more time to sit with, I guess, yeah. and percolate through my system. And then even take all of the the pieces of, you know, what to do with that or how to clear that block and finding a way to do that more regularly without overwhelming myself. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. yeah. And, you know, the this is the thing is that we think that it has to be this all encompassing, really hard process. And it doesn't, you know, it can just be an awareness that we hold on to and we live into. Right. Yeah. So like, you know, yesterday I was exhausted and I had rehearsal and because we're doing Mamma Mia. Right. And mm -hmm. and um, and I'm the music director, so I'm at all the rehearsals. So I was just tired and I didn't want to be there and I was cranky. And what I didn't realize is that I also had run out of my vitamin B in my pill packs mm -hmm. and so uh, for my supplements. And I was like, so I was really cranky. <laughs> so I did not do well without my B supplements. And, and I was aware that I was overdone. And so I didn't snark and snap at people because I was like, oh, well, I'm overdone. And that's, yeah, okay. So I'm going to take the day off and you know, yeah. chill. And I've got a day where I'm not doing rehearsals so I can just chill and be, be chill. But, you know, this is part of it is just recognizing, 
right? It's like, ah, okay. So I know that this is going on. And, you know, I woke up this morning in a huge amount of pain and I went to the solar things, the solar flares. And I was like, what's going on? And sure enough, massive solar flares (laughs) that came in today. I'm like, oh, well, that explains it. Right. So, you know, it's just, you know, it's, it's awareness. It takes two seconds here, five seconds there, whatever. And, and when you can give yourself an understanding of the why, oftentimes it makes the what much easier. Okay. Right. And so this is the key is to to be with the awareness and say, you know, is this who I want to be in this moment? Yeah. Right. Totally. And yeah. if I'm feeling this way and I'm kind of feeling stuck feeling this way, because, you know, I was stuck feeling that way yesterday. I was just <laughs> tired. I was burning out. And, yeah. you know, I've been doing five, five rehearsals a week. It's easy to burn out. Right. Oh, wow. In addition to working full time. Right. So, yeah. yeah. And so it, it's sometimes it's just recognizing the truth of it and going, oh, yeah, that that makes perfect sense that that would be true. Let me see if I can fix that, <laughs> right? Yeah. And then, then you can have compassion for yourself because oftentimes the problems that we have is we we pile on judgment of self on top of the already feeling bad. And yeah. then it's like, ah, oh, double whammy, right? Yeah. But when you can have compassion for yourself and go, oh, yeah, okay. All right. So I didn't do this so well. Maybe I will fix that for next week. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. You know, it's like, okay, yeah, okay. I didn't do this so well. Let me fix that. Right. Yeah. That sort of thing. So that's, that's what I'm talking about. And so it doesn't have to take a lot of time. And I know, you know, that from the welcome to the woo program, because, you know, it's 15, 15 minutes a day, roughly. Right. So, you know, this is, this is part and parcel of the process and yeah. just recognizing that, you know, we're never done. Yes. That's a big one. I've got to get, get inside of my awareness for sure. Yeah. That's why one of the first things I tell people when they start working with me is let go of the goal because, you know, one, you're never done. And two, if you're living in the goal, you're not in the moment. And the only work you can do is in the moment. Yes. That is yeah. very important. An important yeah. reminder. 